Hey guys, welcome back. So day two is wrapped up in Japan for the selection tournament. It was a pretty good day. Heavyweights, of course. So under 90s, under 100s, plus 100s, and also the heavyweights for the women as well. This is Tajima on the screen. You probably saw him two weeks ago fighting out of Tbilisi by himself. And so it's pretty amazing to see him, you know, within a short time, make weight again, come to this tournament. So make sure you stick around to see how he does. This is Aaron Wolf on the screen as well. Today was really important for his career. I think if he lost in the first round, he probably would have been out of the national squad, considering his international results recently. So yeah, some high stakes stuff. We'll go through, have a look at all the techniques, and I'll try not to make mistakes with people's names again. Nice Ogoshi here from Tatsukawa, fighting out of Alsok. Oh, and by the way, I won't be doing any slow-mo replays in this video. I had some problems yesterday. It took like 12 hours to render all the video footage, so just to be safe, I'm just replaying it without the slow-mo today. So hopefully you guys will see this video pretty, pretty soon. Mashu Baker, he's actually been doing quite well recently, competed at the Tokyo Grand Slam, kind of rising up in the ranks again. Here he is, he's got this pass that he does, he does this quite a lot, just a really nice pass into the Newaza. In white, we've got Mukai. He's in a similar spot to Mashu Baker, I think. I think those two both in a similar kind of ranking for under 90s for Japan. Definitely a lot of guys in front of them though. And Mukai, unfortunately for all the great judo that he does, gets counted here. This is a really nice counter. He goes in for the Kataguruma, and you can see Nakanishi from Asahikase, same company as Ono Shohei, counters it beautifully. Also, a little bit more unfortunate for Mukai. Gets thrown twice by Nakanishi. One counter, but this time, a perfectly executed drop down, Seoinage. Beautiful stuff. Right, this is the first name, probably gonna get wrong. Uno, with a nice counter. Blue, I think it's Tashiro. Just a little kind of weak entry on the Osoto. And then Uno went in there, full commitment. This is Uyoka, one of the guys who they've been sending out at under 100s. He's in the white, by the way. Nice Seoinage, he's got a really good Seoinage. So in the mix at under 100s, you've got Ida, he's probably top pick right now. Wolf, not too sure what what they're doing with him. And then there's Uyoka and Green. But the results of today, that'll definitely change things a bit. This is Green, by the way, in white. Defends well here, gets a Sumigaishi. Very smart tactical play, this one. I think everyone just has to know how to do the Sumigaishi these days. It seems like an easy way to get points, no? Just catch a Seoinage. Counter them like this, It's it seems so easy, no? Oh, by the way, I totally forgot to mention this at the start of the video. You can see these matches in full on the Zen Judan page. I'll put a link in the description, all the comments, check down there. And uh, later on, I mean, right now the live event is still up, it's like five hours long. In a couple of days, maybe a couple of weeks, they'll put up the individual matches. So you might want to wait out for that if you want to see all the individual contests. And one more thing, the finals, put the finals at the end of this video, so stay around for that. This is Kagawa, with a nice Osoto. He seems pretty pumped about that one. Nakamura now, in white, from Tokai University. Really nice Tao Toshi, takes two stabs at it. Watch how the first entry just kind of moves him closer in position. Makes the second attempt much easier. Wazari, and then into the Kesakatame. Baker now. And I saw Baker do this technique, and I also saw Wolf do this technique as well. Or we Gaishi, or maybe a Sumi Gaishi, the direction's kind of odd. But both of those guys from Tokai University, and they know each other, I know they're friends. Maybe teaching each other a thing or two. This next one, don't blink or you'll miss it. An incredible Uchimata by Green. And he's thrown Uyoka. Last time these guys met, Uyoka threw Green with a Seoinage. So a nice little rivalry developing there. Really nice to see. Great Ochigari here. This is one technique I've been trying to practice recently, Ashiguruma. It is a hard technique to do, and especially at the heavier weights. I mean, that just makes it even harder, I think. Tomita and White here. And in my opinion, this is how the heavyweights should move, at least in the women's. I mean, there are some French heavyweights, I won't name them, but I think they just are a bit too heavy and don't really have the movement. Kind of just using their physicality to get things done. Tajima and White here, Nagasawa in blue, both from Parks 24. So they should know each other pretty well. 
But Nagasawa, I think his best days might be behind him. Tajima definitely on the rise. Here's Wolf doing that same throw as Mushu Baker. It's kind of an in-between Obitori Gaishi and Sumi Gaishi, I guess. Always nice to have these kinds of techniques in your back pocket, just to use when you need to. Takayama, she had a really good day. Incredible now as I watch this. Hand between the belt. The pull getting the, the leg underneath. And then the way she grabbed that arm was really unique. Straight into the Osaikomi. Knee against the head, securing it well. Another Ashiguruma, this time from Tomita. Perfectly executed. It's such a hard technique though, it looks really easy, but that is a hard technique. A couple of highlights here from Tajima versus Baker, which was the final by the way. So Tajima in the white. Baker, I'm sure you recognize, of course. So Tajima, he looked really strong in the beginning, putting in some really big attacks. And Baker, I mean, he just had incredible defense. Baker's got a really flexible style about him. A little bit of Ashiwaza here that was very close. Almost catches Tajima off guard. And then I'm glad this one ended in a score. Because it sucks, you know, it sucks when such a good contest like this kind of ends with Shiro's. So a nice combination of attacks from Tajima. Looks for the Yagura, he got countered with that against Beka Uri not too long ago. Gave up halfway through. Baker tries to counter, but Tajima, he ends up countering the counter. So, excellent, excellent judo by these two. Into the highlights from the finals now. Here we've got Wolf in the white against Green in the blue. Green looked really strong in the beginning, but I think he tired a bit, blew out his arms. And Wolf, he's got that stamina, was able to capitalize. Takayama again here, going to the ground, and then watch the work rolls her over, securing the arm, and changes position. She knows exactly what she's doing in the Newaza. This is uh, the final, by the way, for under 78. And she is very, very slick on the ground. Ulta. I feel we didn't have any highlights leading up to the final, but this is the final for plus 100. Gets a score, finally. A nice Kochigari. He just tapped the foot. Watch him tap that foot. Nakamura goes backwards and he jumps on top of him. Great stuff. And the last final here from Tomita. Continues to execute at plus 78. Great techniques all around. A little bit of Ashiwaza into the Yosai Komi here. So that's it guys, what do you think of the Senbatsu, the selection competition? It's pretty exciting, I love it. But unfortunately, it's already over. So anyway guys, I'll see you in another video. Peace out.